Welcome back everyone, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Dark Hour 717 and recently on stream, we've had the opportunity to fly one of the most exciting ships not actually in the verse, at least not flyable for those who have it actually available in their hangar, the F-8 Lightning. In this video, we're going to go over how you can get your hands on an F-8A to test fly and get a chance to take this amazing fighter out and put it through its paces. Before we get into the details though, if you enjoy the channel or these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. It greatly helps me out getting the videos out to more people and I definitely appreciate it. And thank you to all of those who have already hit the subscribe button. Also make sure to stick around to see how you can get entered in to win a Drake Cutter starter pack for the month of December. The F-8 Lightning is a vehicle that has variants that are awarded to certain concierge levels as well as it will be open to all players upon completion of Squadron 42. Currently, it can be seen at events like IAE as well as Invictus Fleet Week, and these will be seen in various versions from the civilian model to the military model. This is not the only place that this can be seen though. These ships are in use in the PU by NPC pilots on certain missions. In times that you're running Vaughn issued missions, when you have the UEE coming after you because of a crime stat, or when the Javelin and Bangle are flying through at special events, these are actually just a couple of the times that you're going to see the F-8 flying around in the verse. So this must mean that the ship is not flyable by players, right? Absolutely not. As is well known, the ability to say rent certain NPC ships is very possible to be done in game. This includes both the Idris as well as the F-8 Lightning. The Idris is definitely a more in-depth and difficult rental to perform, but not impossible. And a multi-crew party is definitely needed to complete this. Keep an eye here as we will be going through our own version of this in the future. The F-8A though is much easier to complete and can be done solo, but it is much easier as a multi-person action. So how is it that this is done? Well first what we find the easiest way is to accept and build rep with Vaughn in the personal tab to reach the level that he issues you an extremely difficult task or a troublesome task that pays 45,000 AUEC. This is actually going to occur at the Master Assassin level, and the location that's going to show with these will be a weapons testing site above for Hurston, or in Crusader a location will show as in an asteroid field. This is very important as this needs to be performed in a site with 0G. This is the part that will take the longest as you need to build up the rep with him, but if you're somebody that's in a multi-person crew, as long as somebody in the party has this level and can accept these missions, you'll be able to take part in this. You want to accept the mission handed out by Vaughn, which will be an ERT takedown, and it'll spawn the hammerheads typically, and these are where you'll find the best chances for an F8 to be present. Occasionally there are none, but more often than not, there's at least one, if not two F8s that you can take. Next, you're going to make sure that you have a ballistic rifle equipped on your person, such as an FS9 as this is found to be the best option to get through the canopy glass. Ballistics ensure that you can fire through the cockpit in order to take out the pilot. But before you get to that part, you want to make sure somebody in the party proceeds to the comma ray in that area and uses a dragonfly to fly in to avoid the turret fire. Then they're going to take down the comma ray to avoid anybody getting a crime stat. Now this is not mandatory, but does ensure that you're not going to have a crime stat after taking the F8. If you're not concerned about the crime stat, then you can actually skip this step with comma ray. After that, you'll proceed to the mission, but do not engage any of the targets. This is key as the ships generally will not move or engage you unless you fire first, and you want them to stay in place to be able to take the F8. In some cases, they may spin in place, but this can still be worked around and is very predictable. Once on site, if solo, stop your ship at least 1500 meters away from one of the F-8s. If you are using teammates, then have somebody fly you all the way in and drop you off in front of the F-8 and then fly the transport ship away. You're going to EVA over to the very front of the cockpit of the F-8 and with your ballistic rifle, you're going to poke it through the cockpit windscreen and push as far in as you can, aiming for the pilot's chest. And once you're there, open fire and keep firing until the pilot is killed and ejected from the ship. You're going to then interact on the seat and climb into the F-8. If you have not taken down the comma ray, then this is actually going to be where you're going to receive the crime stat. If you did take down the comma ray, you will not, but the other UEE ships will immediately turn on you to open fire. This is the point that having teammates available to engage the hammerhead is beneficial to take it down while you're getting the F-8 out of dodge. Just know that if you do take down the hammerhead, and you depart the F-8, it will instantly despawn. 
To avoid this, you can leave the Hammerhead alive and just get the F-8 out of the area. The other UEE ships in the area will not likely cause extensive damage to the F-8 if they are left alive. Once you're out of the area, the F-8 has all the same abilities of any other ship that you're flying, except it will not be able to refuel, restock, or repair, and you won't be able to store it either. So when you're doing this, the F-8 really is a single time use ship until it's out of gas or destroyed. Also, it does not seem that any of the missiles are usable on the ship while you're flying it. And at this point, you can go about your business and run your missions and enjoy the flight of the F-8 and run it through its paces and see what you think. Though this technically is likely a glitch that allows this to be done, it is really a blast to get your hands on one of these coveted ships as we'll likely not see a player own one anytime soon as it is dependent on Squadron 42. The ship itself is definitely a cut above most other fighters with a loadout that is far beyond effective against most targets. The F-88 is classified as a role specific combat ship in the medium fighter category. The class is going to be a size 2 and the max crew is going to be 1. Its cargo capacity is absolutely 0 and its length is going to be 26 meters, width of 24 meters and a height of 8 meters. The SCM speed is going to be 212 meters per second with an afterburner speed of 1,337 meters per second. It was designed by Anvil for use with the UEE. The F-8A, though not the same variant as the F-8C, is the closest that we'll be able to get to flying the F-8C, and it is a fun and exciting experience to get the chance to fly it. With excellent maneuverability, the F-8A is extremely nimble for its size and can easily engage most enemies. With good flight control inside atmosphere as well as in space, this ship is definitely the cream of the crop for fighters this size. As it is shown on MFDs as well as the Star Wiki, the F-8A is stock with one size two military grade C Maelstrom power plant, two size one military grade B polar coolers, four size one stealth grade C shimmer shield generators, one size one civilian grade C expedition quantum drive. Now that's going to give you a 20 million kilometer time of 4 minutes and 2 seconds, which is actually very respectable. And Hurston to Crusader is going to take you 5 minutes and 23 seconds. And your longest trip of our corp to Microtech is going to take you 8 minutes and 24 seconds. Of course, because you stole this ship, sorry, you rented the F-8A. You cannot do any upgrades, obviously. But with the stock loadout, it is very well equipped to be able to get out there and run many missions with it. Even more if you stay somewhat local to where you obtained it. As far as weapons loadout, this thing is matched by no other, equipped with two size 4 M6A laser cannons, two size 3 M5A laser cannons, two size 3 CF337 Panther laser repeaters, and a dual size 3 M5A remote turret that is slaved to the pilot. The F-8A is supposed to have eight Ignite 2 infrared missiles, though we could not get these to operate properly when we rented the F-8A from the UEE. The FAA is a phenomenal ship, and if you get the chance to try to rent one, I highly recommend it. This fighter is definitely a blast and a ton of fun to get your hands on and can help you enjoy the bounty system even more. And it's always fun to try out new ships that you've never tried before, even if you don't get a chance to keep it or store it in game. The ship itself is a beast of a fighter for its size. And this really makes me look forward to when we'll be able to get this in game after completion of Squadron 42 or for those that have earned it through the concierge level. But I do hope that you found this tutorial and guide on the Anvil F8A Lightning useful and will take a chance to try it out for yourself. Make sure to get your entries in for this month's giveaway which is going to be a Drake Cutter starter pack. All you have to do is subscribe here on YouTube, leave a comment on any video, get entered in. You can also get a second entry by heading over to Twitch and following over there. The winner will be drawn on January 1st, 2023. And remember, you can catch the stream here on YouTube every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time or over on Twitch every Tuesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time as well. But if you'd like to help support the channel, check out the merch store or hit that join button above to get a membership. Everything is greatly appreciated as it's what goes back into the giveaways to the community. I want to say thank you to everybody for joining me on this look at the F-8A today. And please be safe out there and we will catch you in the verse.